ridiculous now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. KRW Live on Patrol. We're over here at the Walgreens, over here off of uh, Plans and uh, Plans and South on 8th Street. Uh, this is a uh, a vehicle versus a mo motorcycle, moped, I should say. One of those little mini cycles. Uh, the gentleman's right here on the sidewalk. Apparently, he has minor injuries. Uh, again, why is he riding that thing? It's very unsafe. Uh, it's too small profile. Lucky he's not dead. Uh, apparently, this vehicle was uh, get stable here. Getting a little better. Not a grand baby. Okay, anyway, this vehicle apparently was turning into the uh, Walgreens parking lot, coming uh, westbound on plans and making this left turn to go into the parking lot. And apparently, this uh, this person was riding this uh, this mini bike on the sidewalk, and he got struck on the right, the left front end of this uh, four-door white vehicle. Apparently, the injuries are minor to moderate. Uh, like I say, he has no helmet on. Uh, it's just like I said, I don't understand why people write these things. They're very dangerous and it's just not very smart. This is at the Walgreens over here off of Plans and South 8th Street. Uh, apparently this, uh, this guy, this uh, subject was riding this uh, mini bike on the sidewalk, on the south sidewalk heading uh, westbound and this vehicle's turn. Uh, was going westbound, was turning to the parking lot to go south in this parking lot. And right now it's uh it's in that twilight where you got the uh the sun's really bright. So you know you really can't see anything going back west. So more than likely this person got blinded could didn't even see this guy making that left. But anyways you can see the uh the mini bike is uh is underneath that left kinda underneath that left tire. Uh Uh, I guess somebody's trying to console this guy. Uh, he appears to be an adult male. I don't know how old he is. Still waiting for ambulance to go 1097. But I just, you know, I didn't get that. Could you these, these things, right in these, uh, okay, we got all ambulance 1097 now. They're here on scene. Uh, it's just, you know, riding those things around, no helmet on. They're low profile. I, it just, I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't get why people do it. You know, if ride it in a dirt field somewhere, a dirt lot, but don't ride it on the street. It's a good way to get killed, plain and simple. And he's lucky that they were turning, the pre people probably wasn't going very fast, maybe 10 miles per hour to turn into this parking lot. So that's what saved him. So, yeah, it's just, uh, <clears throat> I don't get it. I just don't get it. This is KRW Live on Patrol, live stream out of Bakersfield, California. Uh, appreciate you guys uh, always checking and following me. And this is going to be another uh, static recording. It's going to be rebroadcast. So it's just another one of these accidents, man. All day, all night, every day. They are bringing the stretcher out to load this this person on the stretcher. I guess there was a king unit that went 1097 first, then right in front of us, and he said injuries were minor to moderate. Uh, yeah, it just happened probably about, came across scanners about 10 minutes ago. Uh, we have uh, several traffic units on scene. Traffic control, but they're traffic, they did handle all the traffic investigations. Uh, like I say, it's, uh, hopefully this guy's gonna be okay. Hopefully it's a lesson to be learned. Stay off of these uh, mini cycles, man. It's just too dangerous. Just makes no sense. It's just way too dangerous. Yeah, but they they always continue to to write these things, man. It's just it's just too dangerous. 
way too dangerous. Yeah, we're gonna hang out here until they transport this guy. Cause they were saying like the the canine unit says his injuries were uh, minor to moderate. It look like they're trying to get him on the stretcher as the other officers are observing the uh, the uh, the vehicle. You go, Oscar. So again it's it's just this is uncalled for uh it's no reason to be riding that thing on the street against traffic yeah this it's very dangerous it just makes you know he's riding the wrong way he's riding on the sidewalk going westbound on south south sidewalk and it's just it's too low they're too low probably you can't you see them it's too dangerous so you know it's like what's the purpose i mean you're you're having fun and, and this guy appears to be a dope uh like i said looking here he appears to be a dope we got another Another PD unit, uh, 1097. Oh, I got several units, 1097. Yeah, we got all, the whole cavalry. We got a motor, 1097. Uh, we got two other squad cars, 1097. So, everybody got another unit, 1097. Oh, my goodness. They out in force. He's got a block of view. No, I'm fine. He doesn't know. Yeah. yeah, I'm good, man. He knows, man. Get out of my way, man. Get out of my way, man. No, some of them. No, no, no. They know, but he doesn't know. He's a, he doesn't know what I'm doing. So, nah, it's good. But yeah, we're keeping it from a distance. I don't want to get up in the the victim's face. But hopefully, he's gonna be okay. But this is a lesson to be learned. Stay off these mini bikes, man. It's just it's too dangerous. And he's lucky this person wasn't going faster. It could have. This could be a totally different situation. Or oh, not wear. He was wearing a helmet, which is good. Oh yeah, the helmet. Yeah. The helmet is seating in front of the car. <laughs> this is still stupid, man. This guy. This guy's an adult. It's like, what are you doing on that for, man? And yeah, that's, that guy's an adult. I. I don't. I don't get it, man. It's like, what's the point? <laughs> you know something a little even a kid shouldn't be on that crap it's just that should be outlawed i just i have totally disagreed with writing those things man there's nothing good about it i remember a long time ago somebody was over in the lakeview area and it was writing there was actually a go-kart and a kid got smashed was dead i mean it's just it's so low and he gets you know actually i've seen an incident over there off of uh dr martin luther king probably it's probably like six months ago uh another guy was writing one of those it was at night and he was hurt pretty bad. So I don't know what was the outcome on it, but he was helped. You know, I, hope, I think he, he lived, but it was just, it shook my head, man. Okay, they are lifting the guy up, putting him on the stretcher. He's an adult, older guy too, man. He should know better. Yeah, he should know better. He's definitely older. Dude, you're way too old. His neck, apparently he has a neck brace on, so he, he has some uh, pending neck injuries. They got the uh, brace his neck, so he, he injured his neck. He's probably more than likely he probably hit that vehicle and he went head first with that helmet on, and he struck that uh, that left front fender, and it whiplashed his neck back more than likely. Makes no sense. Prayers to this guy, but please, 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 look away. He landed his, his hand down on the side of that stretcher. He's he's not feeling very well. He's gonna get transferred to a local hospital um, for a treatment he needs and deserves to get. But this is a, just a word of caution to people out there. Oh, oh there got another motor officer, 1097. Yeah, now it's becoming a little overkill. Right? If another officer show up, I'm gonna scream bloody murder. If another officer, <laughs> just we get a lot of officers. I know maybe they're not busy, but this is what I be talking about. There's a bunch of guys here standing around now, man. I just, I always got to point it out. And we'll see. I got to feel another officer's coming. I just got that gut feeling. I got my, my buddy Oscar over here next to me. My shadow. Anyway, this is Kara W. Live on Patrol out of Bakerfield, California. Welcome to my stream. Appreciate you guys, man. That's how we do it. 
Yeah, I'm going to be bringing Oscar along here in a little bit uh, soon. He's going to be uh, doing some translation in in Espanol, in Espanol, I should say. Uh, we're going to try the little things, mix it up, going to tap on some things. Hopefully it works out. Just got to get Oscar not to be so quiet and shy, man. It's a shy guy right here, man. Yeah, he got his boots on, his hat. Look at this cop, man. He's, he should be coming in the picture right now. Look at his boots, man. He got his got his little sleeves rolled up, flexing his muscles, boy. He's like two. She tell me he don't look good. He's got his boots bit shy. He's, he's, he's got to be over six feet, too. Yeah, he's a tall guy. How the, hell, how the hell can he get on a motorcycle, man? Now he got some other females walking in the, in the shot. Yeah, they, they ready to do, he ready to do his job showing his little guns, man, little baby guns. Uh, dog, you got to work out. If they, they are moving the guy to the stretcher. Yeah, he's got to work out a little bit more. Yeah, okay, though. Yeah, all right. He's a young guy. He should have bigger ones than that, though. Anyway, they're uh, moving the, the victim to the stretcher to load him up. But anyway, this is just a... Uh, A uh, mini bike into a side of a vehicle, 901T. Uh, minor to minor injuries. Uh, apparently, the uh, victim sustained some neck injuries. Uh, hopefully, he can recover. He'll be fine. It's like he was an older guy. I'd say he was probably, what do you think, in his 40s maybe? Early 40s? Yeah, Oscar agrees. He probably was in his early 40s. Oscar got a close up view. Oscar did state that he, uh, he did have a helmet, which is good. But again, why are you on that? You don't have no protection. Why would you be on that? On the wrong side of the road against the traffic. Side road against traffic, riding on the sidewalk. You didn't ride on the sidewalk. It's just, I just don't get things like this. It just, but some people, they're adults. You should know how to make better decisions. And this is a piss poor decision for him. Again, prayers to this guy. Uh, these are just when the accident makes no sense to me. I just, it just upsets me. We already have enough. They got another unit. Oh no, she's uh, no. There's another unit. Is that another year or she leaving? No, she's, she's leaving. leaving. Okay, all right. One traffic unit is leaving. Maybe she got another call. That's good. But now they're picking the, the moped up, the little mini bike, can you say? Uh, all right, a bit. Hopefully, they go junk it somewhere. Throw it, take it to the junkyard. They'll get a guy a chance to even get it back. But he's got to get his property back. Did anything else come out? So what? Did anything else come out? I don't think so. It's all right. You're fine. Yeah, right now they're uh, they're inspecting the mini bike. Uh, it's where they probably throw it on the back of a tow truck. Tow truck could pull up and probably toss it on the back of the tow truck. So hopefully it's not stolen. It, probably not, but you never know. <laughs> you never, you know, it might be stolen. You never know. So. Anyway, it's just uh, like I say, I uh, these traffic collisions are driving me wild, man. It's just too many of them. It's just unfortunate. Earlier there was one over there off of uh, Taft Highway, and which is Highway 119, State Route 119, and Gosford Road. It was a rollover. I'm gonna be putting that out after this one. So I don't know. So this just came out of traffic collision. When I pulled up, I was coming back westbound from from uh, H on plans, and I first I thought I couldn't understand. I thought I seen something like land in the roadway next to this vehicle, and I came back around the other way. And I realized it was a that mini bike, and I see the gentleman on the side while people were were trying to give me water and stuff like that. So anyway, we got about another couple minutes on call. It's almost 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one. Uh, he is being trans. He's getting ready to get transported. Uh, now BPD gonna do their investigation and try to. Well, they know what happened, but they still gotta do the investigation. But yeah, look out for Oscar, Oscar Roscoe. He's coming soon, man. You guys gotta get him, gotta get him trained up. He had learned how to talk in front of the cameras, but he he, he has the potential, so he's coming. And don't forget my my man G Man, G Man. He he'll be back on here sooner than later. Uh, and we're just gonna try to do the damn thing, man. That we do a KRW style, man. KRW live on patrol. We cover uh, Bakersfield Police, Bakersfield City Fire, Kern County Sheriff, Kern County Fire, local EMS, and Highway Patrol. And sometimes you never know, Arvin PD. But we do love people watching. We like watching the people. When things are dead, we go out and watch the people. 
Those people who can act a fool, man. I'm telling you, you guys be surprised. On some of my old videos, how people behave and carry out in public. So we, we do that for a little bit of humor. And so, but anyway, appreciate you guys getting on this ride. Uh, I really love doing this. And like I say, coming, coming soon is my man Oscar. Oscar O. Tell you, man, he's going he's gonna to bring, bring a different flavor, man. He's going to help tell you, take us to different heights, different limits. Be able to cater to the Hispanic community, man. That's what it's about, man. Just like my uh, Filipino followers out there. Appreciate you guys, man. Everybody, man. Anybody that helped me build my channel. All my two typical people I always shout out. Bake for Street Media, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody, you know who you are. So, appreciate the, appreciate the love, man. Everybody stay focused and continue to bring your content and do your thing man just do your thing do you man don't worry about anybody else any other streamer just do you and be happy that's what it's about man be happy keep it real man transparent be real do you don't worry about the other person let him do his thing i don't care if the other person have a thousand subscribers the other person i have fifteen thousand subscribers who cares man just just live for another day and be happy that's what that's my that's my motto that's how I do things. I don't care about other people, man. I care about Oscar, though. Thank Oscar's you. a cool guy, man. Thank you. <laughs> Oscar's a cool dude. I care about my brother, too, though. Now, I care about folks, though. I'm serious, but I just don't worry about other people, man. Yeah, I get along with all streamers. And shout out to Mutt, man. Recover, brother. You and TW Lives, man. One of the local streamers, TW Live, and the, uh, Mutt was getting ready to get into the business. Uh, they're okay. They're recuperating. So shout out to you guys, man. Take care, man. You guys, uh, the streets need you guys. Street needs all you guys. RD on the scene. All you guys. They need everybody, man. So come back, guys, and take care. And KRW Live, just want to shout out all the streamers, man. Everybody. That's how I do it. All right, guys. I'm going to stop talking. It's Thursday night. I'm in a good mood for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, I wish this guy that got struck on this uh, little mini bike, I wish him well. And like I say, man, I was gonna be chilling. I might come out later if something comes, something happens on demand. But I got something. I gotta come in later for job. So for my job, I gotta come in. So at midnight. But anyway, guys, uh, to the next one. I'm out. See ya. Peace. Say peace, Oscar. Peace. peace. Later, man. We're out. See ya. Out.